Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking air gap if your dishwasher is leaking water out of the air gap. So that tutorial is going to happen right now. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take the cover off. You might need to pull a little bit hard because there's probably going to be a sealant on it. So as you can see, there's my sealant. So we're going to fix that later. Then what you want to do is take off this top piece. So it's held in by teeth on each side. So just push those in and you should be able to you know, pop the top uh, right out. So you know, I had to work it on one, one, one at a time, but it still works. So there's the one side, there's the other side, and that should come out. And then basically what we want to do is we want to put, basically we're going to use a coaxial cable and shove it down, not the tube, but on the other part, because that's the part that is linked to your garbage disposal that's clogged up. And that's why the water is leak is coming out of the air gap. So that's the, the tube that basically is connected to your, garbage disposal and that's where all the water comes out um, and basically as you can see on mine has a little kink too so I'm going to show you what I need to do to fix it a little bit better than just the initial you know uh, kind of fix. So go ahead and get some coaxial cable and cut one of the ends off so you can fit it down the, the hole there. So you want to put it down there and then go ahead and you know you want to kind of agitate it back and forth a little bit that way you can push out all the food particles and gunk that's stuck, that's causing the water to back up. So go ahead and put it all the way down as far as it'll go and then agitate. And once you've done that a couple times, then you can pull it out. And as you can see, uh, there's some gunk and it's kind of disgusting, disgusting, so sorry about that, but that's what's gonna happen. And then basically what I'm going to do is I actually put the cable down the garbage disposal the other way and agitated it that way too. That way it really clears all the food particles and gunk that's stuck in there. So that way this doesn't happen for a while. And then it's just reverse order. So put the top back on, um, just pop it back in place and then put your cover back on, um, take off the old sealant first. And then we're going to reseal this that way it doesn't leak all over your, you know, into your countertop and all that. So this is the sealant that I use. I'll have a link in the description for this sealant if you want to buy it. So go ahead and put your cover back on, make sure it's angled correctly. And then all you need to do is put the sealant on. So go ahead and put the sealant on your hand. Go ahead and make a nice flush uh, coating with the cover and the countertop. And basically that's all you need to do. And after that, when you bring your dishwasher again, it shouldn't be leaking. So hope the tutorial helped you.